There are a lot of things you need to do to keep your profile real in Google's algorithm, especially if you're sending outbound campaigns, but also if you're just sending to your warm list or sending to clients and suppliers. Anytime you are sending outside of your company, you want to look as real as possible to avoid the promotions tab or the spam box. And that's what I want to talk about in today's video, how to make your G Suite account look as professional as possible and how to protect yourself from being marked as spam and how to land in the primary inbox. This is going to be a heavy video. We'll go through everything step by step by step. So if you find value in that, if you wouldn't mind liking this video and subscribing down below, with that being said, let's jump into it. I'm Alex Berman. I'm the author of Cold Email Manifesto, so I know a thing or two about getting into people's inboxes. Our cold emails typically have between 70 and 80% open rates to brand new cold traffic. So this is something that I have spent a lot of time doing, and here is exactly what to do once you start your G Suite account. First thing I would do is make sure that you bought your domain on Google Domains. If you go on over to domains.google.com, you may not realize that they have a domain search right here where you can purchase your domains. The reason why I like buying domains from Google directly is one, it just makes more sense for Google to have control over the entire process. If you're going to use G Suite, why not just integrate it all? But also, these domains automatically have SPF and DKIM records installed, so that saves you time and saves you energy of having to figure out exactly how to do that. So let's go through and buy a domain, tapliocode.com. We can maybe use this for our cold email campaigns. So all we do is add to cart. Now the second thing you want to do is scroll down here and you can add your Google Workspace right here, which I really love. I normally just go with the business starter and you put in your first name, your last name, your name that you want the email to go through. So I'll be alex at tapliocode.com. And then you can allow this account to manage domain settings and you can check out right there for 12 bucks. Easy, I got a domain and I now have access to Google Workspace, which is what we're going through in today's video. So let me hit buy on that. It'll take a second to register after you purchase the domain. So now you have the domain purchased. The first thing we're gonna do after that purchase is set up a couple things in the DNS. So click on over to DNS and we're going to set up a DMARC record for the email. So we'll go into our DNS settings and we'll create a new record. Then for hostname, we will put underscore DMARC. Its type is TXT. And then for the data part of it, we'll put in this text, V equals DMARC1, P equals none, RUA equals mail2. And then you put in your email address here. So alex at tapliococo.com alex at tapliococo.com and we'll hit save. And now we have DMARC set up. The next thing you wanna do is add a profile picture. So let's go over to the backup email address that we added and we should have a login to our tapliococo.com email. So let me open incognito, tapliococo.com, log on in with our password. It'll make you change your password and accept this stuff. So just accept this, then change your password. Make sure that it's strong enough or it won't work. And now we're inside of Google Domains. And you might think that you can just go over here and edit your profile picture by hitting manage your Google account. But let's try to do that. When we click this, we get this error. You can't change photos for certain types of Google accounts. So how do we set a professional profile picture if we can't change photos for certain types of Google accounts? Well. We have to go over to the Google Workspace backend. So go to workspace.google.com and click the admin console button. From here, we can click into our user and then we can click the profile picture button and upload a profile picture. And now it might take a second to show up, but we do have a profile picture set up in this Gmail account now. The next thing you wanna do is add an email signature. So to do that, you click this gear icon and you click see all settings. From here, we scroll down to email signature and you can see our profile picture has updated. We'll go down to email signature and click create new, name our signature. Usually I'll do it as the company name, so let's call ours Taplio. And now we'll put in our email signature here. This is the way that I like to set mine up and you can set yours up in a similar way if you want. Then we go down to signature defaults and we can change our settings here. For new emails, use Taplio. On reply forward, use no signature. That way you're not adding a bunch of signatures to the email account. Then we scroll down and hit save. And you can see if we hit compose, our email signature now is right here at the bottom of every email that we send out. 
So now when we send an email to somebody, they have our profile picture, they have our name. I'm realizing this late in the game that I did typo my name as Brahman. So all we'd have to do if we wanted to change a name is click update user in the G Suite panel and change the name right here. So it doesn't matter if you make a mistake, you can always fix it in the admin panel. So now let's send a test email to see if it goes through. So I'll send it to my Gmail. Test will be hi. This is a test email. Just wanted to see, did you get it? And hit send. So here in our sent box, you can see our name spelled properly now, our content of our email, our email signature, our photo, everything is looking good. Everything is looking professional and we are all ready with our Google Workspace account. If you have any more questions on lead generation or cold email, then feel free to join our community of hustlers and entrepreneurs and also get help from me every single week inside of our private group. You can join that at email10k.com. It also comes with access to all of our courses on how to grow a business, so check that out. Join today at email10k.com. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.